Thank you for joining us for this presentation on smart connected actuators. It, uh, I want to focus on making systems more transparent. Why is this of importance and, and how can we achieve that? First, I would like to, to explain these, these five letters there, CSIM. This is about Belimo focusing or trying to improve add value to our market in these five dimensions. So this is about comfort, energy, safety, installation, and maintenance. So these are the areas of, of improvement or having better solutions out in the market where we as a company always uh, have in mind when we decide on new developments, new offerings. First, why is this important, this transparency? So if you, if you think about HVAC, what are important questions that you, that you may, may have for an operational question? So is it about, is comfort okay in a building? Most important, is there any, any energy loss, energy efficiency good enough, high enough? Is it optimized? Does it really work? Are there, are there problems? On the job site, is there indications for preemptive service? Um, and is there, are there potential improvements necessary for the future um, that would make your, the operation of the building safer and uh, trouble-free? Um, so I think these questions, um, there are different aspects, different methods to, to find answers. Uh, one, one possibility or one added possi um, way is uh, analyzing data, having more transparent information what's really going on in the building because quite often you don't know that today. And uh, to make here an example, an example that we had in our, in our own building, you see here the Belimo headquarters in Switzerland. We had last summer, it was really hot. We do have production here inside as well. It was really hot there, too hot. And then we, we, it was clear we have to optimize that, we have to make it better. And the initial ideas from the specialist, uh, uh, not only from us, was like the, the uh, upgrade the chiller, sure, install chill ceilings. And then we decided, oh, let's do first some investigation. And, and uh, so we installed our own IoT actuators and sensors to analyze what's really going on. And uh, the finding at the end was the root cause. It was not that we did not have enough cooling, cooling power on the chiller or on the, on the secondary side. It really was, it's, it sounds maybe like simple, uh, wrong control sequences. But it was not obvious at the beginning. So um, by having the data, and I will show the slide afterwards, having the data, looking to the data, really enabled us to improve the situation uh, significant, significant in a short time. We only had to change, you change the control sequence. So uh, temperature was okay there in the manufacturing space. We saved a lot of money because upgrading chiller on chill ceiling, you, you know that it's a lot of money. So uh, com comfortable temperature at low investment uh, was possible by by analyzing the data and, and seeing what's going on. So transparency, transparency on the data is important. And uh, so fact-based decisions, like changing the control sequence, as it was in this, in this example, uh, requires relevant data and analytics. So to be more precise, what did we do? We installed here these energy valves which are connected to the cloud, to the internet. So we have the data there. Uh, we have room sensors connected as well. Um, and then what you see here are data from out, out of the cloud service. And uh, when you, without going into all the details, but we had this, this overload situation somehow, it was too, too, it was too hot. You would expect that the cooling system runs constant on a constant value, uh, the maximum value. And you see here a lot of dropouts and not running on the maximum, even if it's a very hot day. 
and what you see here is really the power uh, going to the to the to the into the concrete for cooling BTUs per hour. So it was very obvious by by seeing the the, the power going in the cooling system. It's not not constant. That's not the maximum. There is something going wrong on on the on the control sequence. And here, four different things have been identified in the control sequence that, could, that we could optimize. And the result was uh, really that we, we could improve the temperature situation quite fast. So then, when you have once decided you want to make use of this technology, having this data, it, the question is now, how can you do that? Does it get complicated to, to connect um, an actuator or a sensor um, to, the, to the cloud in order to get all the data. And uh, so Belimo decided to, to make our products, our IoT products, kind of two-phase, two-sided. Or One side is the integration with the control system, no change. It is analog or backnet, MSTP or IP, whatever is used today, is still there for to, to how to integrate it in the control system, and as a second, as a second, we added connectivity to the internet. So this works independent. So it is easy, no change required in existing existing um, building for retrofit or even when you do a new one, you do not want to change the, how you control it. You simply can add this connectivity, and you get the value of the data. Straightforward. <clears throat> then uh, as soon as you enter the topic of, of IoT, it's always like, how about data security and data privacy? This is important to us as well. Uh, without going to the details here, uh, we, we invested a lot of money. This is, this is um, I mean, uh, really important. You can find the details all documented on the Belimo webpage. And, um, we, we, have, um, we follow standards that, in terms of, of security, we follow standards set by the, the Swiss banks. So we are quite confident um, that, we, that we are on a high level there. Nevertheless, uh, the systems are built in a way that we can always online uh, upgrade if necessary, if there is any security breach. So then when you have data, raw data in, in the cloud, and we have meanwhile all, already 160 gigabyte of data of all our devices out there, it, it, now the question is, what can you do with it? Because data on its own, it's, it's not a value. So we have uh, two, two, uh, two approaches. There is some analytics on the device, on the actuator, and there is more on the, uh, done on the cloud, which I would like to give you some examples. It's important. These are only examples. Uh, we are, they are very open. These data are available for all, everybody who has a right to use them. And uh, based on what we do in the internet, um, there we have an API, a software interface, so that really almost any analytics tool out there can make use of the data. So for, as to make an example, I use here the energy valve. Um, and uh, the energy valve itself, it can generate the commissioning report, a document, a PDF file after commissioning, push a button, and you create this, you get this file. And to make an example, it tells you, it does some analytics on, on, the, on the data internally. There is the glycol content, 0%. There is others as well. Delta T manager is switched on or off. So at the end, you have a, a, a documentation, you know what it was installed. Um, there is a health state, state report on the web page directly coming from the product. For example, it can tell you there is a freeze warning or there was once a freeze warning. Or there are air bubbles detected. So things like that, the product itself can detect and help you to ensure that, the, that your device, that your system is kind of safe. Then here uh, you see the data log. Data log, 30 months of data. What you see here is the, the power going to the heat exchanger. And what can you, what could tell you this here? 
It tells you if you look to this number, for example, over a year, you see it was never more than 75%. You are sure you will never run into a situation where you have an overload situation. So safe operation, even in a very hot summer. It, this is something you can read from this data. Then when we go to um, analyze or use the data in the, in, the, in the internet, then you look to a whole building. So this is a building from the, the Swiss um, kind of MIT, a research building. In this building, in the basement, we have installed, or they have installed um, uh, uh, in the basement, uh, 20, 20 energy valves. Now it's about not looking only to one at once, but looking to all at the same time and find out what's going on. And uh, one thing we do in, uh, for, for buildings where you, where you have several of these devices installed, we generate this quarterly performance report. So an analysis, what is going on, is everything okay? In this case, there it's a green light, everything is okay. And if you want to know more, you can read it through and then as a next step, you could go to the basic data in, in the internet. So we try to, to, to make sense out of the data. So this is one example, this is existing, we do this today. The next one is coming soon. Uh, what you see here is now the floor plan. You see all the energy valves, you see here all the green lights, everything is okay. There one is there is some, some problem. Um, so on one page you can recognize if the operation based on the device, the, the, this energy valve is, is good or not, or do you have to, to act and you can find out all the details. The same tool does not only show this floor plan, it will show you the data log of, for all of the, of the valves at the same time, so it's quite, quite um, easier to, to understand what's going on. Or you can have here a table that tells you, tells you uh, whatever is needed. So these are examples. Uh, we do that now uh, for our customers, but it's really, sh it, this is more a beginning of what can be done and, and shows the value of, um, of data. And these are the, the examples that I just showed. Uh, here you see the, the Belimo world map. <laughs> you see the, the installed devices globally already. Um, so we have really some experience, so we have more and more data from different product uh, times. Uh, we have a full product range, IoT product range, so if you really are, inter or when you are interested, uh, I, don't, I don't show it here, but you can go to the Belimo uh, web page and you find all the data and these products are available. And we are not talking only, we, we do have and we have experience. Um, short outlook, what may my, our next steps beyond only um, or only having this data and uh, analyze the data. A power over Ethernet, so the next step, we believe strongly that it will um, simplify uh, this, this technology, so you have not only the Ethernet cable for the communication, we use the same cable to power the component or the product, um, which makes the product a little bit more expensive, but at the same time, the electric installation really overcompensates for that. And uh, we, we believe this is the future and uh, the future Belimo products, IoT product range will, will use this. And um, there, are, there, there are customers already today out there who, where the consultant, where the consultant specifies already in the whole building POE as a base technology that's not not always today, but we are in a changing time, and uh, there are these, uh, yeah, these big, big um, buildings where the, um, they expect POE devices. So yeah, that is uh, our thoughts about IoT, about, about how can we add value into our marketplace with, by having more, a more transparent, a more precise view what is happening in these sometimes hundreds or thousands of valves and actuators in a building which at the end is a complex system and um, by knowing more, by having more information, um, 
this, this helps us and our customers to make better HVAC uh, systems. Thank you.